My Kona, I to way, I to way. Oh, I'm so grateful that my mama was so traditional because, uh, oh, we had so many. Uh, we ate pickled tripe. Uh, we ate tripe in soup. Um, corn soup, of course, with beef. I, I can always remember beef, but some of our people use pork in it. It's, I think, to your liking, whatever. And of course, uh, chicken and rice soup, that was an absolute staple, I think, in most of our Indian people's homes. That was just, maybe because chicken was so plentiful, I don't know. But I know that that was always one of my favorites. And then, of course, uh, I can remember in the early spring, uh, I remember one time gathering, Mama called them um, wild onions. And they were just real tiny, what is known now as chives. But back then, they grew wild. And that was, they couldn't wait for spring for wild onion gravy. And I remember eating that, and it was so scrumptious. And, um, oh, what else did we have? And of course, our fry bread and cowboy bread. That was another type of bread that, you know, my folks made. They call it, our Iowa people called it uh, cowboy bread. The Southern Iways, no, I think our, I don't know if our Southern Iway people call it cowboy bread or if they call it skillet bread, but I know Ponkas call it skillet bread. But um, we had that um, milkweed, love milkweed. And yes, there's two kinds. There's the good kind and the bad kind. And mom always, we always gathered that. Um, my mom and my aunt always gathered greens in the spring. And, oh gosh, those, those were awesome. So I, I think about, you know, the things that, um, you know, that we did then. And I was trying to think what other thing did Mama used to, oh, scrapple. We've, we've made scrapple. They used to make it from a hog's head. They would cook the hog's head and take the, scrape the meat off of the hog's head and they would use it to make scrapple. And today, to just make it a little easier because there's certainly no hog heads out there freely given or you can't find them anywhere. And I don't know that I'd cook one now. Back then they did, you know, they did it, the whole thing and I guess it was okay, but, um, Nowadays, we just use uh, sausage and make scrapple out of that. And then um, oh, beans, of course, we always, beans were pretty much a part of our staple. Uh, any kind of beans. Butter beans, oh my gosh, I love butter beans. Um, brown beans, pinto beans was our a real, that way, you've got to have pinto beans. I said, I don't know where they came up with the beans, but I'm glad they did. It was good. <laughs> they were good. I was trying to think. Oh, and um, sweet corn, when we would have our corn soup. This is something that I have not seen uh, in all the times I've been up here around our people. The only people that I ever remember sitting at a table and they made this was my auntie and mom. But they would take the leftover, like if we would have corn soup that night, okay, and maybe there would be just a little left like in the morning. They would take that corn soup and they would make gravy with it. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. Yeah. And biscuits, you know, they'd make biscuits. So, yeah, we were always, I, I think we was in hog heaven when we got that.